Vishal Dhupar from MVDA and uh, uh, there is a big announcement which is going to happen here at the Data Science Congress. So let's find out what that big announcement is. Hi, uh, this is Vishal. Uh, I represent NVIDIA here in India. NVIDIA is at the intersection of art, science, and engineering. We are living in a very exciting time where AI era has begun. And at the dawn of the AI era, NVIDIA is absolutely going to be swarming AI. And in that purpose, it was rather important that people who are visionaries of AI, we connect with them. And it is for this purpose, Aegis and NVIDIA are joining hands today. How do we bring skills to India for data science? And more importantly, how people understand how to apply deep learning, which is a critical foundation, how India is going to transform itself, and it's really important. So on that note, uh, I believe that we have a really, really important relationship that's going to begin. Bhupesh, you uh, want to say a few words about the engagement now? So what is happening in India, like uh, deep learning, data science, artificial intelligence, and these are the areas which are very high growth areas. So a lot of people are talking about AI, machine learning, uh, but these are very complex areas, right? And it is very difficult to really build up a program which are scalable programs. And uh, we have been trying to really build skills for the last two years, right? And not us, everybody. All major IT companies, banks, telecom companies, everybody. And the way the data, amount of the data is growing, right? Building up a scalable model is becoming very difficult. And that's where NVIDIA is very powerful powerful because of the GPU, right? Uh, so the partnership which we are going to really have today, Aegis and NVIDIA partnership, which that will help Aegis to really materialize our vision to make Aegis as the world's best applied data science institution, right? And uh, in fact, this will strengthen NVIDIA's uh, mission to really build up skills in deep learning here in India applied AI here in India. So this is a wonderful partnership and we are really very bullish, very hopeful that this partnership will really give a uh, lot of skill manpower here in India. And uh, our idea is to really make India as a center of the hub for skills, research and development in the field of applied AI, data science, machine learning, these kind of area. And we really thank uh, Mr. Vishal for agreeing and joining and with this in this journey. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, Vishal, uh, where do you see uh, most of the, uh, so once we have, uh, you know, uh, the kids or even the adults being, uh, you know, uh, becoming data scientists in the market, which market do you see is going to be outsourcing their business to India? Which part of the world is going to be looking at India in a big way? So it's my belief that uh the importance of deep learning is that we're going to be keeping our skill sets intact and very viable. And being a back office of the world, it is extremely important that we understand all the workflows of multiple industries and how we're going to be programming that in a new world where algorithms will write the algorithms. And therefore, I don't think it's a constraint to any particular industry. Every industry is wanting deep learning because you're trying to make extraction of the pattern that resides in these tons and tons of data that surrounds us. In the last count, I was told that if I take boxes of data and put one above the other, I can go from the earth to the sun to the next planet and still come back and I still have few boxes which will be underlying. Now those, that data has information, information has knowledge and knowledge has the intelligence. How quickly we can be at the leading edge of intelligence is critical to India. So not only as a back office of the world but more importantly for our own self. In a country which is extremely young, in a country that requires many educated people to be getting jobs, what better opportunity than to leapfrog on AI and if NVIDIA can be a partner in that, I believe is a wonderful moment of our time. 
भूपेश यू हैव बीन रनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम नाउ देर वॉज टेलीकॉम इंस्टीट्यूट इट इज स्टिल देर केटरिंग वेरी स्पेसिफिक टू द टेलीकॉम इंडस्ट्री एंड नाउ विद द न्यू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑन डेटा साइंस डू यू सी दैट यू नो दैट होल बूम विच हैड स्टार्टेड वेन वी वे ग्रोइंग अप यू नो इंजीनियर बनो इंजीनियर बनो वॉज द मेन थिंग एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड इवन द पेरेंट्स प्रेजर वॉज अ लॉट यू नो इंजीनियर बनो और इन्फोसिस ज्वाइन करो बिकॉज दैट वॉज लाइक इंडियन कंपनी एंड वो सो डू यू थिंक डेटा साइंस विल ऑल्सो वन डे रीच देयर वेयर यू नो द यंग यंगर जनरेशन विल वॉन्ट टू पिक अप दिस एज अ यू नो ऑन गोइंग बिकॉज द इंडस्ट्री वुड हैव इवॉल्व डू यू सी दैट एंड वुड हाउ डिफिकल्ट वुड इट बी फॉर सी इवन दैट टाइम वेन आई टी वॉज देयर पेरेंट्स रियली डिड नॉट नो दैट मच ऑफ आई टी राइट बट स्टिल बिकॉज इट वॉज अ बिग वेव सो पेरेंट्स एड येस दैट्स वॉट यू नीड टू डू राइट सो डू यू थिंक वी विल फेस अ लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इन ब्रिंगिंग द होल बिग डेटा साइंस एजुकेशन टू इंडिया so there are multiple part right so uh, how open india is for the data science is concern yes very open so i have addressed close to 25000 professionals in last two years in different conferences meetups and in my conferences i had kids like right from 16 year old to 60 year old right and in these conferences a lot of people these kids they come and they tell uh, sir uh, i have decided not to join the engineering but i will be joining the bsc mathematics and statistics right so uh, the adoption is changing right so uh, two be- weeks back i interviewed one gentleman and his daughter graduated engineering from it and joining accenture and this gentleman is joining the executive program in data science right so the scene is changing right and these uh, kind of candidate we are not our target audience so 20% of our participant they are 45 plus right so things are changing perhaps because of the awareness is being created perhaps there is a need and perhaps the issue of the survival as well right because in it industry the retirement ra- age has come down to typically 40 45 right so people need to really start upgrading now this is a difficult journey so we have reaped the fruit of it in last 20 years which is a good part the downside is uh, in this boom of it in a mad rush we have killed our fundamental education which is education based on physics mathematics and basic uh, skills right and we have created tons of the coders and that's where we won and we lost as well right so today if you see best of the machine learning algorithm guy hackers coders cyber security experts uh, they are not from india right most of these folks they are typically from either china or russia or ukraine or eastern european world and uh, i have look at what are the reasons because i have couple of faculties from uh, uh, russia i'm not saying that indians are not really good but if we see the our population and the percentage of people there is a huge gap where in eastern europe ukraine the russians they are really good right and the basic reason i could really figure it out uh, which couple of research report also says they are very strong in mathematics and physics right and if you see these uh, deep learning algorithms machine learning algorithms ai algorithms they are nothing but these are the complex mathematical model right so first you need to understand the math and then you need to really have the coding skill to really convert those mathematical formulas into a workable model which will work on some site or in some program right so uh, now this this brings a complex kind of skill set right so are we need to really look at the education from the different perspective so of course we cannot really keep on going back and building up the math skill we have to really start uh, from somewhere where in deep learning uh, skills and software which uh, nvidia is having they can really build on that but we have to really go back as well mm-hmm. we need to really start reemphasizing on uh, math uh, physics skills at our undergrad level we should not be so much obsessed about engineering now because the world order is changing now we need different kind of skills we need to really train our people on the skills uh, on the task which machine cannot do mm-hmm. right because more that a task machine will do right so we need absolutely a different kind of skills so it is going to be a diff- difficult journey but i am happy that yes awareness is being created 
Vishal, uh, with the uh, when you talk about skill development and uh, you know this whole initiative with uh, Aegis Business School and Aegis uh, Data Science School and uh, M MVDA, um, so which part of the uh, uh, you know the uh, people sector are we going to be looking at in a big way would it also be provided to the underprivileged and you know so that uh, you know they also develop their skills in this or would it be a little uh, above the line poverty line kind of uh, target uh, students you're looking out for so my dream is that we should make deep learning very pervasive, make it extremely easy. And one of the main reasons why we want to try up with ages. Obviously, it is at an early adoption cycle right now. And early adoption comes to people who really want to try out because they feel the advantages outweigh the need to wait. And therefore, we're going to be starting off with people who have a background into computer science, Python language, and people who can understand fundamentally how to write. It's a very easy algorithm comparatively than what people would traditionally use. My most important thing is that how we get it applied to every stream beyond science into art too. If deep learning can help you to accentuate your art, if you want to be a painter and you want to do Leonardo da Vinci's style of painting, you should be able to do that. Because that's your ambition, that's your aspiration, and that's where one should go about it. So education is critical. Right now, everything is being held because of the skill set. We don't have enough data scientists. Step one is to get the right data scientists. But once those algorithms are there, which write themselves, where you don't need to write software after source applicability. Uh, how will the employment scene be then? I mean, when uh, you know we don't need coders, or we probably need a combination of coders with data scientists coming in. Uh, do you think that the employment um, is going to go down, or would there be new opportunities coming out? First, your take, and then your take. My belief is I think it's going to be a great accompaniment, it's going to require reskill, but it's going to be leading the society to the next level. Uh, people say this is going to be the fourth revolution of industry. In each of the three preceding ones, things have changed, reskilled, and better jobs have been created. So there's no reason that uh, one believes that, hey, you're going to get substituted. But definitely reskill is required, and that's something which is going to happen. When computer came, right, so people had this kind of notion. So, yeah, few jobs you will lose, which like a mundane jobs will be automated. But new kind of jobs are being created, right? And these are the high value jobs, right? Per hour billing is going to be high, right? The salaries are high. Uh, so this is going to really create, this is, in fact, it started creating new kind of job opportunities and huge number of job opportunities, right? So thank you, gentlemen, and uh, wish you all the best on the new engagement. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.